As Erie County currently stands in the yellow phase, a peregrine falcon is moving into his own green phase. Samir Nefsi joins us now in the studio with this rare release. Samir. Yes, hi, Sean. It is uh, all clear skies and flying high for this little peregrine falcon that was injured back in February. Now, just a little bit of backstory on the species. In 1972, they were placed on the endangered species list. Meet Perry, a young peregrine falcon who was found outside of an area tops. That's when the bird crossed paths with Andy Huser of the Pennsylvania Game Commission. We suspect it may have come from Erie, but it's unbanded, so we don't really know. Perry was then taken to Tamarack Wildlife Center, where their team assessed and treated him. Turns out the little guy had a broken ulna, a bone within the wing. These guys can reach over 200 miles an hour when they dive for their prey, so he may have hit a power line or slammed into a window. No, we're not sure. After stabilizing the bird, he was taken to a surgeon in West Virginia. The staff at Tamarack Wildlife Center has since rehabilitated Perry through physical therapy and reconditioning post surgery. Staff members excitingly reintroduced Perry to the wild. Okay, ready, everybody? The hope is to increase the population of the species. It's believed Perry came from a nest here in Erie of peregrine falcons that called Don John home. Since starting the program, they have gotten the species off of the endangered list and moved to the threatened list in PA. Even with the ongoing pandemic, the crew at Tamarack has been busy. To be able to bring back this threatened bird during a pandemic with the help of colleagues and our supporters just gives me goosebumps. Well, it's super rewarding, I and mean, it's good to, that we can do our part to help this species on its way to recover. Great stuff there. So this year so far, Tamarack has helped 250 animals, and since the pandemic started, 100. Now the staff says they believe Perry will be just fine in the wild. Sean. Great story. Thanks, Samir.